So next up is the character that kind of gave me the most trouble as far as me being able to use him due to the, uh, the time limit on the, uh, on the closed beta. And of course they didn't have any training mode on there so you couldn't really practice what you was doing outside of an actual fight. Um, so this, he has some good moves, it's just that you have to, you, got, you have to practice with him in order to get a lot of that stuff down. So he's, I mean, this is going to be like the standard thing that people are going to try to use with. Let's be honest here. From what I remember, he does have, yeah, he does have real good aerials. So that's... Distance, this is probably the best thing. Let's check out his move list. That's suppressive barrage. Suppressive barrage triple, so basically it's a wrecker. So basically, you just keep. Wild shot. Covers front and back. Surrounding, spinning, evading attacks. This is because they're vulnerable at the start. Who does a counter for shooting down airborne, opponent, airborne opponents? However, this move must be used with caution as you will be left vulnerable upon missing or being guarded. Or just use it in a combo, you ain't got no problem. There you go. Deadly approach. Forces opponent knocked down. First shot hits the opponent even while knocked down. This move switches your, with your opponent, making it useful when getting out of disadvantaged situations. Projector hits, explosion hits opponent, and when knocked down can be used to immobilize opponents that are at a distance so you can attack them at your leisure. Well, basically it's like a triple overhead barrage so basically it's the same thing with uh, suppressive barrage the revenge debuff on opponents so decreases a sudden death so land attacks by to briefly apply the following debuffs on your opponent okay so just regular just him being in the awakening stage um decreases attack decreases defense decreases mp recovery restrict your opponent's strengths and whittle down their hp from an advantage position okay So you don't just want to use the awakening skill right away. You want to take advantage of whatever abilities you get when you're in the awakening state. Let's see what 
this does. That. Let's take a look at his, uh, his regular skills. So we got the mock kick, steep slide, the windmill, and the air raid. Okay, so regular, so neutral down forward, and neutral after the forward. Useful for shutting down an approaching opponent. It is easy to use for combo execution. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's possible to. Triple tap, which is a ground attack. Bullets are a projectile attack. The first hit knocks the opponent down. Bullets hit the opponent even when knocked down. Easy to use for combo execution. And it's hard to punish the opponent being guarded against a fight. So. a lot that I'm gonna have to using him is gonna be a task because he's mainly make he's mainly obviously for he's mainly for like distance fighters and distance fighters have never been like my forte when it came to fighting games. I'm more of like an up close and personal type of person. With with the uh you know more so like a physical uh, attacker rather than using guns or like bows or anything like that. That was never those style of characters were never my style. So for me, he's a learning curve more so than any other character in this game probably will be. characters in this game I guarantee you he's gonna be the most difficult for me personally to use I know other people will probably have a field day with him and in the right hands he's gonna be super super annoying but I look forward to seeing what they do with him so as usual the next character